Hey, being so important, we have to move to new KPIs. Um, we always try and look at our content to see what's performing best. Uh, and previously, we would do that by just looking at what was getting the most engagement, what was getting the most likes, comments, and shares, because that was probably the best comment, or content. But nowadays, um, you know, with A being a, being a part of that, it doesn't work as well. I get people coming to me and they're like, holy crap, this video got 2 million views yesterday. And I just look at it and dig in and say, okay, well, it paid for 2 million views. That doesn't mean it's great content. Um, what you want to look at to, to determine if it's good content is what was the cost for those views. If it was low, then it could have gotten 2 million views because it was being shared a lot, because it had a lot of learned, confirmed implications. Impressions, too. Um, did it get a ton of impressions uh, because you paid for all of them, or because you paid for half, and the other half, a one-to-one -one ratio, by the way, is really good. If you pay for a million impressions and you get a million free, that's really good. I mean, you know, everyone wants to think pay me is bad, you know, you should be able to do everything organic, but one-to-one -one is really good in our business. Um, if you can get half of your ads for free, that's, that's really positive. And the last is this fan and follower count. Um, I don't want to say that that's not important at all. A lot of people are going the route of saying fans and followers for social media just don't, don't make a difference. Um, and especially how it showed you 90 million fans doesn't generate a ton of impressions. But what happens here is the fresh fans and followers count. And at Coca-Cola, we've actually done uh, data studies that show there's a specific date range that unfortunately I can't show with today. But especially on Facebook, there's a date range that fans drop off immediately. And after that date, they don't see your content. So if there are fresh fans, and you, you recently got to like your page, um, they're going to see your content organically. And, uh, and so they are more important. And so you really shouldn't ignore that fan follower account.